Welcome back to Kiwi Tech. Today we're looking at a live wallpaper called Weather Screen. So let's do it. Okay, so this has been my wallpaper of choice for quite a long time. I enjoy having the live wallpaper showing me what the weather is like. Uh, just because I like seeing the little rain droplets or the snow, etc. And it's winter over here, so it works quite well. So that's what it looks like. You can choose any background you want. It's a static background, and it just has a weather pattern overlay. So you can see I've got the little weather droplets forming on the screen. And they wipe off as I touch the screen. So let's have a look at the settings. At the top, we have a little instant preview of what it will look like. And we can also go on a full screen preview. preview. We have the wallpaper images we can choose, and we can also select custom wallpapers, like any, uh, let's go to downloads. I can choose any wallpaper I've got in my downloads, and that can be my custom background of my static wallpaper. You can also choose what format you want that to be displayed in, and it's a little bit annoying actually, even though this is a paid app, and I've purchased this product. Okay, so let's have a look at the preview of the full screen. Now the top right you can see the sun piercing through the clouds, so any wallpaper with the sun in it doesn't quite look as effective. Let's scroll down and take a look at the pre-colour sets. So we can choose between winter, spring, there's a lot of colour sets, as you can see right down the end I'll go to negative. Drain your battery fast because that's high brightness. Right side, so tend to leave those alone and stick it at normal. Okay, if we scroll down, we can also have a manual adjustment with brightness, contrast, saturation, and color blending. We can have a time of day, which the sun moves around in an arc. And we can also tick off to display the weather. And as you can see, that takes everything away, which is got to sort of defeats the purpose of this app. So let's tick those back on. Right, you can also change the location. You can set it for default, which is uh, GPS. Can change the seasons which if I scroll back up you'll see it uses those color presets that we talked about before and it doesn't really look good as far as I'm concerned so we can change the dynamic colors and the scrolling and we can set it for panoramic view which uh, I also don't think looks that effective you can see it just moves around in the arc so let's turn that off okay so this is a paid app it's available in the Play Store I'll put a link in the description to that um, I highly recommend it. It uses very, very little CPU power and very little RAM usage. It goes into deep sleep, so it doesn't actually use any more battery power than a static wallpaper does. This wallpaper consistently sits at 250 MHz, sometimes spikes to 600, but um, when you're flicking from home page to home page, that's what any static wallpaper does anyway. So, this is KiwiTech. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.